We got something a little different for you this month. I don't know if you noticed, but it's honors season. So we have an interview to introduce the honors program and then a quick guide to the different tracks and how to apply. We're kicking it old school this time. Welcome to Student Report. To start with, what is the honors program? Yeah, it's an uh, extracurricular program for the top students of every uh, program at our university. So it is uh, 30 EC on top of your study in the bachelor and 15 EC in the master phase. You work on your personal development uh, in uh, all tracks, I think, but also your competences on cri critical thinking are developed, your creativity uh, is being developed, but uh, all kinds of uh, team uh, work and uh, other writing skills, for example, presentation skills, um, all kinds of aspects are developed more than in your regular study. Who is the, the, the honors program for? So we mainly target people who are very motivated. Uh, so people who feel like they have their normal studies under control and they're looking for a new challenge, uh, or they just have very broad interests, very curious about what's going on in the world around them. And they want to um, either learn more or have more discussions with people that are like them, uh, be part of this like-minded community that we have, um, who, who are very motivated to learn and understand more. And we just want to do a little bit extra. Then who can apply, let's say, for an honors program? Well, anyone can apply. Um, we do require that you pass all your normal courses because, of course, your study is the most important part. This is on top of your study. Um, but if you pass your courses and you're motivated and you want to do this, then you can definitely apply. How much work is actually being in the, the honors program? Well, the honors program is worth five ECs, so officially it's worth around 14 hours. Of course, it depends on how much time you want to invest and what you want to develop for you. If you are very interested in a, in a particular subject, you can invest a lot of time in, in discovering it or critical reflecting on it. And depends also on the project you have, the group you're working in, but on average, I would say six to 12 hours a week. Some people could uh, think, oh, okay, it's uh, more or less for the top of the top uh, students, but uh, don't think of that uh, because the selection procedure is uh, for the teachers and for the honors students who are sitting uh, in the interview meeting. So don't select yourself uh, at first, but try out uh, and write a motivation uh, letter. So I would like to invite uh, the students who think, okay, I can do more, uh, write a motivation letter, a one-pager is enough. And uh, there are some criteria on our website, but uh, try it out. As a bachelor student, you will have those sessions where you can uh, be a student for a day. Uh, we have a similar concept in the, in the honors programs where uh, honors teachers are giving small lectures in, in, in which you can experience how to be an honor student. So essentially, if you're doubting which track would be most fun or if you just want to experience for a day, then we're organizing this evening in which you can just chat with the teachers, get a feeling of the course, try different tracks, and then talk to the students, see what it's like. Let's say you're thinking of doing the honors program. What now? Well, as with most things in the UT, your first stop is the uni website. Here you'll find a breakdown of all the tracks and application requirements, as well as who to contact and what for. For the bachelor students, you've got five different tracks. Entrepreneurship and Business Studies focuses on giving students an overview of what entrepreneurship is and how one can become an entrepreneur. Mathematics deals with pure and applied maths to develop problem solving and mathematical conceptualization. Processes of change delves into communal and personal leadership and improvement skills. Philosophy aims to inspire a sense of critical thinking about knowledge, ethics and ideology. And shaping the future gives an analytical framework for major human projects in the past, present and future. There's a few basic requirements for applying to the program. Strictly speaking, you need to be in your first or second year, have passed all your modules so far, and are in the top 10% of your class. But these may be negotiated on a case-by-case -case basis, so don't let it discourage you from applying. In the end, the most important factors are your capability, how much time you have, and your motivation. Speaking of, you should also send in a motivation letter, essentially pitching yourself to the program. Try to make this one personal. Talk about what you're into, what you're good at, what you want to get out of honors, why you like the track that you picked, etc. If they like your stuff, you'll get an interview with a teacher from your track and you'll know soon after if you're in. 
The Masters Honors program is a little different. You have three different tracks, each with their own application criteria and deadlines. You should still have the rest of your studies in order though. Change Leaders is for developing personal leadership and management skills. This involves literature research, personal reflection, as well as personal coaching. Design is about engineering and applying new technologies to societal problems. This is mostly a single group project with some lectures and workshops. Research is geared towards academic development and it's set up for prospective PhD students. It's three courses covering personal skills, writing and societal considerations. Again, if you're qualified, you'll be invited for an interview and the selections are announced a little while after that. Now, this info is accurate to the 2019-2020 academic year, so make sure to check the website for updates. Good luck! If you're watching this around the time we release it, then you should know that the deadline for application are closing in. Have a look-see on the website for the exact dates. We know some of this stuff can seem a little vague, so the earlier you start contacting people, the sooner you'll know, the less likely you'll miss out. And if you don't want to miss out on our shenanigans, drop us a follow on one of these things. It would be our honor to be shared amongst you. Adequates and Aces, this has been your student report for the month of November. Take care, and we'll see you on campus.